Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Yasudian, a consultant dermatologist based in the UK. Many of us like natural treatments for our skin condition. Today we will look at one such natural product, virgin coconut oil, which can be used to treat dry skin and also to prevent a common type of eczema called atopic eczema. Let's look at how this oil can be helpful, examine the study that proved its effectiveness and finally have a practical strategy of how to apply it in our daily routine. It is based on a paper published in the International Journal of Dermatology and was a double-blind randomized study, the highest form of scientific evidence, proving that it is superior to a normal mineral oil moisturizer like liquid paraffin that is commonly used in clinical practice. Atopic eczema occurs in about 20% of children in the first decade of life and is estimated to affect 1-5% to of adults. It predisposes a person to an atopic triad of eczema, asthma, and allergic rhinitis or hay fever, a phenomenon called the atopic march. About half of those with atopic eczema subsequently could develop asthma. It is therefore an interesting possibility that when atopic eczema occurs early in life, then maybe prompt recognition and intervention could prevent the development of asthma and allergic rhinitis. I've already done a video on how hyperlinear palms are associated with atopic eczema and mention how the skin barrier is abnormal and hence predisposes to allergy. It may be worthwhile looking at the information in that talk as it is relevant to the current study that we are discussing. Virgin coconut oil is comparable to mineral oils like liquid paraffin as an emollient in those who have dry skin. Another study established the efficacy of virgin coconut oil in reducing atopic dermatitis severity scores and demonstrated its effectiveness against Staphylococcus aureus, which is a common infection found in atopic dermatitis. Extra virgin coconut oil has also been used to improve the barrier function in preterm very low birth weight neonates. In India, coconut oil baths have been used for centuries and therefore there may be a scientific rationale for the use of this age-old custom. The study in the International Journal of Dermatology investigated the effects of topical virgin coconut oil and mineral oil on atopic dermatitis severity scores and how it affects the transepidermal water loss in pediatric patients with mild to moderate atopic dermatitis. It was a randomized control trial in which participants and investigators were blinded to the treatments that were allocated. Patients were evaluated at baseline and then at 2, 4 and 8 weeks. A total of 117 patients were included. Mean atopic dermatitis severity scores decreased by 68% in the virgin coconut oil group and 38% in the mineral oil group, which was statistically significant. The authors have tried to explain how virgin coconut oil works. Moisturizers can be categorized as occlusives, which coat the surface of the skin, or emollients that fill the spaces between the adjacent surface skin cells, which are called keratinocytes. Virgin coconut oil acts as an occlusive, forming a film on the surface of the skin, and therefore it retards water loss. The weakened skin barrier is then strengthened, making the skin less susceptible to attacks from external allergens and therefore preventing the development of eczema. It also exhibits emollient properties as it fills the spaces between the dry surface skin cells, particularly at the level of stratum corneum, the most superficial layer. The superior effects of virgin coconut oil over mineral oil may be due to this penetration of the surface of the skin, making it bind the surface more effectively. It is also postulated to have anti-inflammatory activity, making them invaluable in atopic dermatitis. The results from this study show that the difference between the groups became statistically significant only after eight weeks of treatment. A possible explanation is that the anti-inflammatory effects of virgin coconut oil requires for some time before it becomes apparent. The occlusive and the emollient effects of the oil predominates in the first few weeks of treatment but then the anti-inflammatory effect sets in as time goes by, further improving the skin barrier. The itch scores in patients in the study also decreased after treatment, probably due to improvement in the skin barrier function. Another important noteworthy point is that none of the patients in the virgin coconut oil group developed any adverse effects. This is consistent with the current literature, which shows that there are no published reports of contact dermatitis to virgin coconut oil. Now let's look at the practicalities. Firstly, remember this is virgin coconut oil and not normal coconut oil. 
Coconut oil is produced by drying the coconut meat or copra. Because this has impurities and these are released into the coconut oil, the oil must be purified and refined. Once the coconut oil has been refined, it is bleached to remove any remaining impurities and then deodorized under very high heat to remove the coconut fragrance. Sodium hydroxide is used to break down the fatty acids so that the coconut oil will have a longer shelf life. In contrast, virgin coconut oil is obtained by wet milled cold press process which does not involve the addition of chemicals or application of heat. The second practical tip is the way we apply the moisturizer itself. The ideal time to apply it is after our bath or shower. Ensure that the water for the shower is lukewarm and not too hot as excessively high temperatures disrupt the skin barrier function further. Take the oil in the palms and warm it to body temperature. Then apply it in one direction, usually from top to bottom on the upper and the lower limbs. This will prevent the entanglement of hairs, which usually causes a sterile folliculitis. It also produces a thin film on the surface of the skin that helps to preserve the moisture under the skin. The final practical tip is that organic oils are best avoided on the face, particularly of oily or acne prone skin. This was one of the tips given by Professor Drelos in a talk on acne prevention. This is because vegetable oils are comedogenic, which means they block the pores, predisposing to acne. Coconut oil can also increase a surface bacterium called cutibacterium acnes that causes inflammatory changes in the acne. There is a talk called acne prevention tips, which I've done earlier, which may have some useful information. So in conclusion, virgin coconut oil can be considered a good moisturizer especially for those who seek natural remedies for their skin condition. It is safe for topical application on the trunk and limbs in both adults and children. It's non-toxic. It has anti-inflammatory and antibacterial biological properties. It promotes wound healing and also strengthens the skin barrier from foreign substances and improves skin hydration. Virgin coconut oil is an inexpensive treatment which could result in significant improvement in any dry skin condition. I hope you found this information helpful. Thank you for listening and bye.